Hi friends, how are you today? It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, and we are going to have fun today. We're going to make some cards and talk about some things. Um, and I'm really excited about what I've got planned for today. So welcome to my Facebook people and welcome to my YouTube people. So let's make sure, yep, we're here, we're on. So that's a really good thing. Happy Friday. It's Friday again. They just keep coming by so fast. But you know, it's really, um, it's a good day. Fridays are good days. <clears throat> and it's very dry here in Southern California. Extremely dry right now. So I'm going to get a little drink of water. Hold on while I reach across. This time I have a gigantic, my gigantic um, tumbler thing that has my name on it. And the straw won't seem to go down because I have too much ice in there. So I'll just drink a little bit. I might have to. Here's my glass again. Isn't that cute? I have a friend who gave me that for my birthday a couple years ago. And I love it. It helps me to drink a lot of water. Um, but it's just very dry. We're having a Santa Ana here. Hi, Roz. Good to see you. Vicki Eakins. Good to see you from Arizona. Cindy Reed, you're here. I hope it doesn't freeze. Oh, Oh, you mean YouTube. Okay, got it. And Carol Schaefer, good to see you. I do have a lot of fun stuff planned for today, you guys. There's just so much going. Yes, Vicki, I'm glad you made it out on the live. That's great. There's just so much going on right now. Um, Stampin' Up! wise and everything, you know, with the holidays coming and I've begun to, are you thinking about Thanksgiving? You know, I'm just going to move this just a hair bit down. We're thinking about Thanksgiving already. Those of us in the U.S., um, have you gotten your turkey? Because, you know, you have to get your turkey kind of early. If you, if you don't, the size that you want is gone. So we already got ours. Yes, YouTube, Cindy. Okay. Um, so we already got a little turkey. Tracy Ludeman from Ken Connecticut. I was going to say Kentucky. Welcome, welcome. Well, Ellie had a bath today, and so she's all clean, but she's extremely sleepy. She's gotten her bow out, I think, three times. So I just keep putting it back in. My husband had to bring it in a few minutes ago because she, she, she's. it's her task to work to get that little bow out. So um, anyway, isn't it, Ellie? Yes. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Um, what are you guys doing this weekend? Hi, Marsha Long. Thank you for sharing. I hope you're going to make some cards. I've been making my Christmas cards. I've got them almost finished. Vicki, family coming for Thanksgiving. Good. That's nice. That sounds fun. You, um, you could make some of those little uh, tree containers that we made last week. Um, you could make some of those for your family for, for placemats. I don't know. The past few times we've gotten together as a family, people just sit all over. We used to sit at the table and do it real fancy, but nobody seems to want to do that anymore, especially on Thanksgiving because, you know, there's there are games being played. And, oh, Vicki, you're going to be doing on stage this weekend. I am too. I'm really excited tomorrow. Yes, Carol Schaefer is going to be working on Christmas cards also. Good. Um, yeah, tomorrow for about four hours on stage. Hi, Lori Mantovi. So, and we're going to use something from that we're going to use it on stage tomorrow because I'm just so excited we had to use it. So let's start talking about what's new because we have a lot of stuff that's new. And I want to be able to, yes, Tina, I know it's going to be great. I'm really excited. Um, here it starts at, I think, I think 9 or 10 a.m. I'm going to have to check. I haven't even really prepared. You're supposed to go in and check on the platform or something, and I haven't really even done that. Look at Ellie. She's, yes, on stage and car making in addition. She's ready to go take her nap. Okay, there she goes. When I give her a bath, she's just really, really sleepy. 
Yes, so on stage, and we're going to use the Be Mine uh, bundle today. In fact, we're going to use, I think, most of the suite today. I'm really excited because I just couldn't wait, and so I wanted to use it today. Okay, so what we're going to talk about, um, the first thing we're going to talk about is I have a brand new um, class to go. Yes, it is called Tags and Cards Class to Go. I'm really excited about it because, you know, at this time of year, right about now, we don't have, we should have, my, your craft room's all set up. Your downlines are coming over. Roz, how fun. Uh, mine are, my downline is scattered all over. And so we're going to try to have a Zoom at noontime. We're talking about on stage for those of you who aren't demonstrators or who aren't going to on stage. It's a, it's the yearly demonstrator uh, convention, and it's on. It's virtual, and it's tomorrow. So we're excited. Okay, my class to go for November. So about this time, a lot of us are still making Christmas cards, but we should have them planned out and everything. So this is a good time to make tags. So I thought we'd make some seasonal tags, tags for now and tags for later, and cards. <clears throat> so not, this is not today. This is my class to go, but you know how I give you guys a sneak peek. I let you really see. Everybody else just sees the flyer with all little corners of things, but I like to let you guys see the whole thing. So we're gonna use, for this class to go, we're gonna use one of my favorite sets, the Ringed with Nature from the annual um, catalog. Run reason I like it is because it has a poinsettia and it also has a, um, a sentiment, Merry Christmas, but it all has it also has all different seasons, so it's a great year-round stamp set. And it has the little house that I like so much. I've told you guys that. Polly Libby, good to see you. Okay, Cindy is moving over to YouTube because she's not getting good reception there in Canada. We're all For my class to go, we're also using the tailor-made tag dies. And I hope you guys have those um, because they're really great. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the cards and tags we're going to make. So this is one tag we're going to make. Check out how cute this is. And these little guys, these little mini tags come up and out of that little pocket. Isn't that cute? So you're going to make this tag and then you'll make a second tag that you can put on a card like this. Isn't that cute? So that's one of the items you'll make in my class to go, my November class to go. Then you're going to make a tag like this. It's like a three-layered tag back, back here. You've got three layers. You've got the boho blue, the copper clay, and the lemon lolly. And then on top is one of the cute little houses. Isn't that just adorable? And then, so you'll make one tag like this, and then you'll make a second tag that you can put on a card. So it, this class to go is tags and cards. And then here's the Christmas one. Um, this tag ended up getting kind of stuck to the Christmas card. This is the tag, it's real pretty. It has some gold on it and it uses the poinsettias in the set. And then the card opens up like this. So you will make two tags, one to go on the card and one separate. So you'll have all those tags and cards um, for my class to go and um, so you can get the class to go with all the the kit with all the goodies in it for $45 but you do have to have the ringed with nature stamp set and the tailor-made tag dies because I can't do all that <clears throat> I have too many now and there's no way for me to do all that die cutting so if you have those two items you'll need the class to go kit which is 45 and then there are options to get it with the Ringed with Nature stamp set alone, if you don't have that, or the dies alone, or both. And then there's an option to just get the PDF. So I have five different options this time. I can't believe it. So five different options for my fun class to go for November. The deadline to order is next Tuesday, because if we're gonna make it, we gotta get going and get it done by the end of November, right? So you can use especially that Christmas tag. So if you're interested, email me or leave a comment below, peggy at prettypapercards.com, and let me know, and I'll get you all set up with 
with my class to go. Okay, the next thing to know, another announcement is Stampin' Up! is having a seasonal sale. And it's, they do this every November. It's kind of like their Black Friday sale. It's going to start on the 14th next Tuesday and just run for two days through the 16th. And I have a little flyer here that tells me the details. Um, it's from things from the annual catalog, 10% off ribbons and trim, 15% off inks, and 20% off papers in the annual catalog. So start making your list. And on the 14th, there's that big sale through Stampin' Up. Okay, the next thing to talk about is online exclusives. They were released this week, some brand new ones. And remember how I've told you guys that um, the online exclusives are a way for Stampin' Up! to get product out to us quick without waiting for another annual catalog. So it's lots of fun. And you've already seen the Meandering Meadow. Um, I've used that and the Fluffiest Friends. We're going to look at that today. But I, let me turn you down because I thought I might show you um, some of the others that have come out. And I don't know why, but I, I have this puny, these puny little pictures. <laughs> but I wanted you to see some of the new online exclusives. Okay, this one is called Feathered Flight. I'll hold it up a little closer. And it's a beautiful, uh, some beautiful birds. And this one, already people are talking about that. That is just a stamp set in the online exclusives available now. You just go online and look under the category online exclusives. They'll all be there. This one is called Of Art and Texture. And I partially want to get it just because of the cute pink card sample I really like. This one... You know, I just can't, we can't get everything. And I got two others, but I'm really tempted by this one. It's called Simply Sparkling. And it has soda cans and you put um, pictures of fruit and different things on them. I think that's cute. And that is a bundle with dyes. And then there's a cute one called Softly Said, kind of large, soft words. And I really like that. Let me get going the right. I like that sample too. And then the final thing is new three color glimmer. And it looks like petal pink, Highland Heather, and maybe pretty peacock, but some new glimmer paper for us. So that's great. Those are the new online exclusives for uh, that were just released the seventh, just earlier this week. And then the final thing I want to talk to you about is um, use my November host code. Don't forget, write this host code down so that you can use it, um, especially if you order over the seasonal sale on ne from next Tuesday to um, Thursday. If your order's over $75 and you use this code, host code, on your order, I will send you a free gift. And this month, the free gift is my favorite iridescent pearls, basic jewels, the ones that I sometimes give for prizes because I like them so much. But if you put that code um, on your order in my online store, I will send you next month after, you know, after this month is over, I'll send you in December some of these pearls that you can color any different color. Okay, so those are all the announcements. We've had a lot of announcements, but now we're ready to make our card. And let me get us a little bit more light going up close. There we go. That looks a little better. And... Um, here is the card we're going to make today. I had to use the Be Mine stuff. This is the sweet, one of the sweets. There are going to be many available in the spring mini catalog. Um, but I'm so excited because we demonstrators, those of us who are going to on stage tomorrow, are going to get to see the mini catalog tomorrow. And But we were able to buy a couple of things early and this was one of the sets this sweet and it is so adorable so we're making a card using it today using the be mine um, stamp set and I don't care what time of year it is any bee with honey is super cute with these colors right don't you love these colors I love this so we're gonna be using this set tomorrow all this stuff but I just had to make a card because I love it 
And so this is called a modified Dutch door card. So it tucks in that little corner and then it opens to have an area for you to write. So that little part just just tucks in under that corner. Isn't that cute? So it's a little fun fold and um, I thought we'd get started. I'm going to show you a little option as we go. So we'll see if you want to do the option. Okay. So if you're taking notes for the dimensions and whatnot, we have a piece of eight by four and a quarter real red cardstock, and we're going to score it at five and a half. Okay, we'll just score it right there using the gray scoring blade to our paper shimmer. And so we'll put that down, and we'll just go ahead and fold it and burnish the fold so that we create that little door. That's why it's called a Dutch door card because of the little door. A lot of times you have the Dutch door card, the card folds over this way, but this is kind of a sideways Dutch door card, which is very cute. Okay, then we're going to, for the inside, we'll go ahead and start with the inside, and you'll be seeing, I'm gonna use a lot of the beautiful Be Mine papers. Check this out, you guys, I love yellow with red and blue and black, it's so beautiful. So we're using this, um, this is one, and oh, it's hard to cover up those cute little bees, isn't it? But this is one of the papers in this set, and I've got this already cut at five and a quarter by four. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this down, and I'm gonna show you how to make that cute little corner um, that where you tuck your piece in. But we have to put this down first because we have to decorate the inside because some of the inside shows. So we need to make a really nice inside here. So isn't that, I mean, even just looking at it, that it's daffodil delight and it goes so beautifully. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to make, um, and I've pre-cut a three by three piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. And on this piece, we're going to put this little paper. And this is going to be the little door. Let me get the card out. This is going to be the little door that opens up like that, okay? But I want to show you something. So on the sample, and I want you guys to help me choose. Oh, it is so cute. So this is the sample, and this is what I have going so far. But here is the part where you choose. So I also thought, you know this new online exclusive, The Fluffiest Friends, okay, you know there's a bear with a honey pot. Okay, check out this paper that we're gonna use right here, it's honey. So I went ahead and made a bear. Where is my bear? And I wanna see what you think. So I went ahead and cut out a bear with a honey pot, and I colored him in with my uh, Stampin' Blends. And I don't know, I guess, I guess maybe I'm thinking my coloring was a little messy or something, but I do think it looks kind of like his fur. But I'm wondering, and I have another option here. Okay, well, actually. Okay, so the back of this side is hearts. But I don't think, okay, and I think this is kind of a little busy. So I'm wondering, what do you think about this piece? I'd have to cut it down a little bit. But we could do this and put the bear on, on that. And then I also have a circle that we could put the bear on a circle. I don't know, what do you think? Do you want the bear or the bee? Let me know what you think. I know there's a little delay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some other, um, I'll do some other gluing while I wait for you to let me know if you want the bee or the bear. Okay, and in the meantime, what we're gonna do is put on the pieces of the designer series paper that have the honey pot on them. Where is, Okay, let's see here. 
Well, we have this piece right here. We have this piece, which goes on like this. This little piece here is one inch by four inches. You guys like the bear? Okay, okay, well, we'll get the honey pot on then. So this is the little, this is the, the side opposite, um, the red backing is on the opposite of this side. So what you do is you put a one by four inch piece of the designer series paper right here to further decorate the front, okay? And then actually this piece, and we'll cut another one, this piece right here is our, um, is our corner piece. Okay, this is going to become our corner piece like we have here. So what you do is you cut it three by three, and I already have. Then we get out our paper trimmer. I think I should put my glasses on. That might help me, especially for this. So we want this to be in the corner up here, and we want it to be a triangle. So we want to cut this piece at an angle like that. So what I'm going to do is put that corner in the gro cutting groove. I think there's a fancier word than groove. And we'll put this one in that cutting groove. So both of the corners are right above the cutting trough, maybe. And we'll just cut that triangle just like that. So we have this little bit left over, which we're going to save because this paper is so cute. Okay, so here's our triangle. So we'll go ahead and put this on our, on our card, and all you do is put it on with Stampin' Dimensionals. That is all you do. You line it right up to the corner of the cardstock. And again, this is called a modified Dutch door card. Hi, Tammy. Bear in circle. Okay, everybody wants the bear. Okay, so what we're going to do is put our uh, dimensionals we want to put them in the corners, not along this part down here, because this is where we're going to tuck our, uh, our other piece, our Dutch door. So we put our little dimensionals like this, and then the only trick is that you have to kind of really line it up careful. So I'm going to put my head like way over it. No looking at roots, okay? And you just get that right like that over the corner and there you go and then our square piece is going to tuck right in and see this it's designed so that that comes right there and then our square piece we can tuck right in under there isn't that cute okay so let's figure out our let's figure out our bear so I've got the bear already done I stamped him, colored him, cut him out. We have a die for that. And here's our this piece, but I kind of wanted another color. Let's see, I wanted that red. I thought that red looked good. Here's Here are my envelopes, you know, where I keep everything. I don't think that's enough paper. Let's look at some other papers and I'll let you guys help me choose. Okay. So here are the other papers in the set. So we're already using this. This is the back. This is our striped. All of these are too busy. That doesn't, the petal pink doesn't really go with our card. There's more petal pink. That's very pretty, like honeycomb. And here's some more of this. Ooh, we might want to do this one. What do you think with the daisies? Let's do this one. Okay, I like it. I'm, I'm just learning right along with you guys. We're just really learning together what all these papers. Hi, Kay. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of this two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay. By two and three quarters. And that is what is going to go inside of our three by three yellow piece here. Our little background for our bear okay so let's go ahead and you know I wanted to use okay here's another question for you guys let's get our card out Ooh, that's gonna be so cute isn't it okay it's gonna be like that and it's gonna have our circle let's pull that in 
do you like to do this? I like to kind of lay it out first. I don't know about you. And then we're going to have our little bear right in the circle. Now, the other card used some red ribbon. This is the red ribbon that comes with the, with the Be Mine Suite in the new spring catalog. Very cute. But I wondered, you tell me what you think. We could have a little piece, I guess maybe it's the red, going across under that part of the circle. Or we could have the black and white gingham. I think the black and white's too busy, don't you? I think we're, I'm going to go with the red. I hope you don't mind. I think it's going to be red. I think it just goes, it because we want the attention to be on the little bear because he's so cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just cut a little piece off here. These scissors are kind of dull. I need to sharpen them. Okay, and what I'm going to do is wrap this around the top of my piece of designer series paper. And in order to adhere it in the back, I'm going to use just a bit of Stampin' Seal Plus. So, oh, that's so cute on the other side. I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to put just a little bit of Stampin' Seal Plus there. And I'm going to put a little bit over here. And this will hold our piece of ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up kind of where I want it, like that. And I just fold it over and it sticks because that Stampin' Seal Plus is behind there. And then I can go ahead and glue it right onto my daffodil piece. So then I just put the glue around it, not a ton, we don't need a ton, again we're still using just a little bit of glue, about a quarter of an inch from the edge so it doesn't come out, because we don't want glue coming out and about. Okay, so now we're just going to put this down, right there, and that's going to be the background for our little bear. And then we have the white circle. And we can put that on dimensionals. I think I need to I need to take a lesson in uh, I, I don't use um, the Stampin' Blends. I don't know how to use them as I should. I do use them and they're they're fine for beginners and I would consider myself a beginner but there are some people who color so beautifully with Stampin' Blends. That is very thick white. I pulled this out of my stash. So I need to learn more about how to really work with my stamp and blends. So I'm thinking I'll put him a little over to the left, so we, we might want to put like a little gem or something on there. So this is our cute little bear. So if you don't have this fluffiest friends, I totally recommend that you get it. It is so cute. And it's available now, the fluffiest friends. So we'll just put him like that. And then this we glue down and we want to leave about an eighth of an inch in there and the same distance from the top to the bottom. I don't know, Carol. I don't know how to sharpen my scissors. I never have. I, I, I need to figure that out. I think I'm going to ask my husband. I think he knows about that. I know in our... In a shopping center near us, we do have a, a man who sharpens knives and stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe someone else can tell us how to sharpen the scissors. Because I, maybe I just need to clean my scissors. That could be it because I've been using them with a lot of glue. So that could be part of my problem. So I'm going to put my bone folder in here just to press that down. I just put a little bit of glue, if you noticed just under that section so that when you open it there's no glue popping out but you need to glue it so that it will fit under the corner right so then you just bend it a little bit whoops and there you go there's the little bear now there's more to show you okay so I'm going to give you a little warning these are the gems that come with this suite are they not darling 
and they're called adhesive backed hearts and flowers and they're in what looks like pool party daffodil um, petal pink and real red so you guys when you see these when you're able to order if you're a demo you can order in december if you're a customer you can order in january but i recommend you become a demonstrator and join with me so that you can get this stuff in december because it is so so cute we got it early because um, those of us who signed up for the on stage so what color i want to put a little heart right there I'm actually slightly thinking of yellow. This yellow is so cute, this daffodil. One thing I noticed about these hearts is they're really flat. You know what, we might put a couple. Oh, they're, yeah, there's a big and a small. They're very flat, so they're not gonna cause a problem going in the mail, which is nice. They're nice and flat. And I think I'm gonna put just another little one over here. Isn't that just cute? Oh my gosh. Now, I did forget one thing. Let's open. And in the Be My Valentine set, there are little hearts. There's all kinds of cute things. Look at that little, little tail from the bee. Very cute. And there's several different faces for the little bee. And just to remind you, here's the bee, the one. And there I used a, a blue heart and I put your sweet. I don't know. I guess we should put a sentiment on there. Let me check the time. Um, let's definitely put the inside in though. This is another three by three piece of basic white cardstock. And I'm gonna put some little hearts. I'm gonna stamp some little hearts on this. Mary Lou Valdez, welcome. So happy to see you. Where are you from, Mary Lou? I always like to know where people are from because we have people from all over. So here are the little, I, I'm using the little hearts that are kind of three together because I think they're super cute. And again, this is um, real red ink and the hearts are in the Be My Valentine set. And then all we need to do is put this over to the side and kind of in the center and then it'll be covered by the by the little flap there. So let's glue this in and that way you'll have a place to write. And I'm gonna let you know that you guys have been putting prize and this is the prize this week. This little bear card is gonna be the prize. You put prize and next, I'm sorry, next week I will draw and the person who um, is drawn will get this little cute little bear card. Isn't that cute? I'm looking and thinking I might need to slide it up just a hair. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Isn't that just adorable? Now, let's see. Maybe we'll just put the word sweet on here. This is the sentiment, this long one. You're as sweet as honey. And I'll show you what I did. Um, sometimes I like to just use one word. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I like to just use one word from a sentiment. And I think the word I would want to use from this sentiment is sweet. So what I'm going to do is stamp this long sentiment down along the base of a piece of paper, a piece of basic white cardstock. And this is too long to, I think, to I don't know where we would put that whole thing. You're as sweet as honey. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Let's see. I'm going to get out my little mini trimmer. Now this is something I've had for a while. Um, and that Stampin' Up! doesn't have anymore, but I think it's so adorable. And it comes in handy for little times like this. So let me just see if I can trim this. Okay, you're as sweet as honey. So this gives you some more options. Um, I don't know, it's kind of, I think just for the sake of speed, because I don't have, normally I would maybe ponder this and come back to it. 
what I'm going to do is just use the word sweet and what I'm going to do is cut it at an angle here and cut at an angle here and then we just have the little word sweet and we can put it wherever we want um, let's see we could just put it right in like that that's not too bad I kind of like that so I'm going to use some mini dimensionals that I have right here, little mini Stampin' Dimensionals, because this little guy just really needs, I think a mini would do it. And we'll just slide it right in there, and that just says, sweet. Let's see. Okay, there's our cute little guy, and here's our envelope. Let's stamp our envelope with those little hearts. Or we could put your as sweet as honey on the envelope, too. Hmm. Let's do that. That way we could put the whole... Thank you, Roz. It, it's just... I'm telling you, this... I don't know what else is going to be in the in the spring mini catalog. We're going to see it this weekend. But if, it, if it's all like this, it's I'm going to be in trouble because... I love this set. I love everything in it. It's a whole suite. Okay, so there's our little, there's our card. Isn't that just a darling little thing? The modified um, Dutch door card. And so then it just opens up like this, if you weren't here. It opens like that, and that's where you're going to write your greeting, your own whatever you're going to say. I have a friend that I think this would be perfect for. So I'll have to make a double because this is going to be our prize. So if you put the word prize now, um, I, I will draw next week right before coming on. So you have to come back next week and listen to see if your name was drawn. And then I'll send you this card in the mail. Okay, let's come back up. Let's see. There we go. All right. So our prize from last week was um, a ribbon share from the holiday catalog that I had left over. And it has some ribbons that are that are gone, already sold out from the holiday catalog. So um, you all put the word prize, those of you that wanted these little, um, I think it's a yard, one or two yards of each ribbon. And the winner is someone new from over on our YouTube page, and her name is Cherith, Cherith Day. And so Cherith, um, I'm going to uh, go over to YouTube and let you know that you won the prize, but I need you to send me your, uh, your address, your mailing address, so that I can get this to you. And you have two weeks, it, it, and today is the 10th of November, and if I don't hear from you for two weeks, I'll put this back in my stash and give it away another time. So, um, Cherith, congratulations. I love your name, Cherith. Um, it, it sounds like Cherish. And so, congratulations to you, Cherith. And um, blessings to all the rest of you. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget about my new class to go. If you're interested, email me and I'll get you all set up. Tag